The Turkish lira has been performing in a civilized way recently, and I think one of the reasons is because of global conditions. Gokta Çelik, Finance Bank. Turkey's business confidence for February came in stronger than expected today. What was behind the rise? Well, to start with, I think I wouldn't read too much into the uh, growth in the annual terms, actually. I would rather check the data for sequential developments. And when we look at the sequential figures, actually, we see a continuation of the uh, deterioration for over the last three months, which actually shows that the improvement that we have observed after the elections in November kind of reversed to a great extent. And... uh, this is not very hard to understand, given that the uh, risks, especially the geopolitical risks and the security risk within the borders, increased. I mean, it is only normal, I would say, that uh, to see this kind of deterioration. The central bank kept its main interest rate unchanged. In your opinion, what direction will future interest rates take and why? Well, our expectation is to see actually convergence in the interest rates towards higher levels. Uh, in the period ahead. Of course, the short-term interest rates will be anchored by the central bank decision itself. But uh, regarding that, we see actually significant underlying risks, including uh, the geopolitical tension uh, due to Syria and uh, the clashes with Kurdish insurgents in southeast of Turkey and as well as the deterioration in the inflation outlook. And in this, I mean, in our view, all these risk factors actually uh, necessitate necessitate higher interest rates. And the market rates actually itself have been already reflecting this. At this part, we see the the interest rates on Turkish treasury bonds, for example, around 11% levels. The deposit rates are even higher. So what we would expect in the future, in the uh, medium term, to adjust the uh, short-term interest rates determined by the central bank to converge these levels. Now, according to Reuters, Turkey's 2.6 million Syrians are contributing to economic growth by spending at least 346 lira a month. However, this is pushing up prices and affecting employment opportunities for the locals in Turkey. So what is your take on that scenario? Well, uh, you're right in the sense that, I mean, uh, we see the unemployment rate actually stacking within the 10 to 11 percent band over the last two years, which, you know, kind of coincides with the actually with the heat of the coming of the Syrian refugees into Turkey. And uh, these levels were um, were actually accompanied with uh, high labor force participation ratio that, in fact, uh, record levels, let me say. And regarding the inflation, yes, we see inflation uh, being elevated, especially the food prices. And all of these actually clues kind of hint you the effect of the Syrian refugees on the economy. But so it's possible to attribute at least some part of these uh, developments to the Syrian refugees. But uh, it's also very hard to quantify them, let me say. And all I can say is that since we don't see the, uh, the current situation reversing in time sooner, I think we will be, uh, you know, facing this upside risk on the unemployment rate and inflation rate going forward. The lira has come under fresh pressure recently due to political risks, but somewhat strengthened after the monetary policy announcement today. Now, where do you see the lira headed over the next six to 12 months? The Turkish lira actually has been performing, you know, kind of in a stabilized way recently. And I think one of the main reasons for that is the uh, kind of the global conditions, actually. I think the market participants are now foreseeing a slower interest rate hike by the Federal Reserve, which kind of creates the risk on environment for regarding all the EMs almost. And uh, Turkish lira is, of course, benefiting from them currently. But going forward, when we think about a period in uh, six months or 12 months ahead, as I said, uh, we see the risks. I already, you know, referred to those risks regarding the geopolitical ones and the inflation outlook as well. And in our view, these risks will wait on the currency. And as long as the central bank will try to keep the short-term interest rates at the current levels, as long as, uh, you know, they act reluctantly to adjust those rates, I think we see Turkish are weakening more. Well, thank you very much for sharing your insight with us today, Gokcha. Well, that is all for now. Goodbye.